Really? Sometimes the way you two talk feels like you're sharing a secret. It really feels like you understand each other, so yeah, I'm curious. Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Trails in the Sky second chapter. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we finished up um, all the optional requests. We also finished up uh, placing the very first of these orbital antennas that we need to set down in order to measure where, uh, measure the power of the quakes. The, um, what are they called? The Septium Veins? Dragon Veins is so much cooler, honestly. But um, the Veins of Septium that run through the Earth, that's what we're measuring in order to find out um, about the Earthquakes. Tita also joined our party, and we left Chloe behind because we gave Olivier the Septium Vein, quartz that we earned as a point, uh, perk for reaching Bracer rank G uh, F+. We're F+, now. We weren't able to upgrade Tita very much, but... Agat and uh, Annalise showed up out of nowhere. Hmm. I'm with the liberal news. We contacted you earlier? Let me get right to the point. Have you determined the source of the earthquakes? No, we still don't know. To be honest, these earthquakes seem to be rather unique. Even we researchers are a bit confused. Huh. Is it a special case? Could you explain to me what's supposed to be special about it exactly? Wow, dude. Anyway, it's certainly an earthquake with no historical precedent. In other words, it's an earthquake that was caused by something completely different than what we've seen in the past. For example, maybe an unknown volcano was behind the tremors? Uh... No, not really. Does Professor Russell not share, like, his... what he thinks is going on with anybody else? I guess it wouldn't be very expedient to have to explain everything that's going on to everybody in the building. But... I don't know, it just seems like a really good way to spread misinformation. Let's double check what's going on here before we leave. Okay, yup, figured. Parts search. Some orbit parts have gone missing in the central factory. Recruiting persons to help search. Eliminate the Peeping Tom. Recently, we've had rumors of a Peeping Tom around the open baths at the Elmo Hot Springs. I'd like someone to come to Elmo when they have some time. Trap Plains Monster 2, a dangerous monster. Yaka has been sighted on the trap planes. Bracers affiliated with this branch are asked to respond immediately to this threat. Monsters specializing in blood-sucking attacks has high recovery abilities, so it's, uh... No. We're, we should be good without Chloe. And Soldot Army Road Monster. A dangerous monster, Bloody Saber, those things were obnoxious. Will roar before dying, and that roar invigorates its allies. Okay. So, we're gonna handle these first. Let's, um... Part search. Let's talk to Eric in the Central Factory first. Because that one is term long. Who knows what he needs? Dang, we would have walked right past those and kept doing the stuff. Uh, is this Eric? It is Eric. Welcome to the Central Factory Maintenance Desk. Are you looking for something? Er, uh, aren't you the one looking for us? Me looking for... Wait. Ah, are you guys bracers then? Yes, we saw your request on the board. Ah, th thanks for coming. I really am in a bit of a fix. Anyway, do you have time to hear about the problem? Yeah. Yeah, sure. To get right to it, it sounds like you're looking for something. Yes, I'm looking for some small orbment parts. I was going around checking to see if the equipment in here was unharmed. And I guess they all spilled out of my uh, the hole in my pocket while I was moving around. You had a hole in your pocket? Yeah, that'd do it. Y yeah, this is totally my mistake. I knew it was starting to tear, but... Well... I was freaking out when the earthquake happened, and I just stuffed them in my pocket without thinking. So, they tumbled from your person while you were walking around. Yes, I believe we, I believe we grasped with the particulars of this case. So our job is to search for those parts. Yes, that's right. But many orbman parts are delicate little things. Seeking them out sounds like quite the arduous task. Now that you mention it, that does sound like a pain. Yeah, I think so too. But fear not, I have a secret weapon for you. A metal detector? A secret weapon? Please, use this. Received metal detector. What's this? Uh, so this is a bit of an oddball metal detector we've invented. The metal detector can pinpoint specific metals. 
In other words, you can select a specific metal to search for. Th that does sound pretty incredible, but what does it have to do with the job? A lot, of course. I think I get it. If we set it to search just for the kinds of metals used in the parts... Huh, I see. So in other words, it can be set to respond only to the parts. Ah, okay, so that's how it works. Yes, exactly. Get close to something that looks promising, then use the detector. If there are parts, there should be some kind of response. Yeah, got it. This machine will be a big help, but we'd still like to cut down the areas we have to search. When you drop the parts, do you remember where you'd been? Hmm... I was in the workshop on the third floor, and the lab on the fourth floor. I'd already checked the ele I've already checked the elevator in the hallways, so please just focus your search on those two rooms. The third floor workshop and the lab on the fourth floor, hmm? Alright, understood. I think that should be about eight parts that I lost, oh crap. If you could find at least half, it'd be a big help. Nope, we're gonna get all eight. Well, we'll do our best. If we find any parts, we'll come back here. Yes, please do. I'll also ask you return the detector then. Do you have any other information to share with us? If not, we'll begin searching. Uh, yeah, there is one more thing. Give the lab on the fourth floor a real once over. I played with Antoine while I was up there for a bit. I'm sure I probably dropped a bunch of parts there. Antoine? You mean the cat living in the factory? Yeah, that Antoine. He can be pretty cute, but this time I'm kinda annoyed with him. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to blame him, but I'm sure I lost a lot of parts playing with him. Ah, now I feel kinda bad for Antoine. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, I'm counting on you guys. Roger that, we'll be back when we find something. Okay, so he said he checked. Hmm. Let's cancel, honestly? I feel like we might find some stuff. We know there are eight parts in total, but we can complete the request with just four. Item. Metal detector. Nothing happened. Uh. Okay. Now let's try going up to this floor. Items. Metal detector. Nothing happened. Okay. What about this floor? Nothing happened. With Antoine in the mix, he used to hang out a lot in the nurse's office, right? I really kind of want to check there. That's the Central Factory Lab. Okay, clinic. Antoine. Yup, figured. No response. Huh. Oh, that's Tita. No response. What the heck? Item. Okay. Items. There we go. Response in the vicinity. Is that it? Found one. Found orbit parts. Uh, oh, would you look at that? Antoine, you sneaky little cat. So you were carrying one of the parts. That one would have been very easy to miss. Come to think of it, Eric said he played with them for a bit. Maybe he found the part and carried it back with him? I think so, but... For him to bring it with him? Man! <laughs> sorry, little kitten. I'm afraid we have to take your toy. We'll get Eric to make it up to you. See you later, Antoine. Okay, so Antoine had one. No response. I don't know, dude. Items... Was it... Was this really the only one that's in here? Okay. Items. What about you? Do you have one? I don't know, dude. No response. Okay. Let's actually check the lab now. I'm assuming we can find... Well, we, we shouldn't be able to get all four parts here, so... Metal detector. Response in the vicinity. What about you? In the vicinity. Oh, is that Tita over there? You look as busy as always. Yep, 
I'm helping Grandpa out again. Man, Professor Russell sure is blessed to have an assistant like you. Unlike my assistant. Ah, uh, enough complaining. Tita, pardon me. You can go back to work. Okay, bye, Ray. I wish I had an adorable assistant like Tita. Maybe once I'm done with the greenhouse experiments, I'll set to develop an orbital doll. I'd model after uh, model it after Tita, of course. And then what about you? Hmm, what should I have as my next theme? I can't just stay helping Ray forever. If I waste too much time, I'll just end up turning into his assistant. Oh, I guess, and Ray already views him as his assistant, so... A bit late for that. Items, metal detector. Response very nearby. Here we go. So we... Oh, re received ornament parts. Okay. Items. There's at least... There's got to be at least two in here. Response very nearby. What about here? Response in the vicinity. Okay, so we have response very nearby. Response very nearby. Okay, so... Maybe somewhere right here? Okay, no response at all then. Okay, here we go. Received orbit parts. Okay, so that might be all there is in here. No response. No response. Items. No response. Oh, man. Response in the vicinity. Response in the vicinity. Here we go. Received orbit parts. Okay, item. And right now, we can officially declare the request as having been done, but we're way more thorough than that. Well, <laughs> usually we're way more thorough than that. We try to be more thorough than that. Let me... <laughs> Let me make sure my statement is in accordance with how I've been playing these games. No response. Um, oh, that thing over there in the corner looks promising. What about you? Item. Nice! Okay. Received ornament parts. And that, that could potentially be completely it. Um. Maybe a little bit more here? No. Nothing. Probably. Nope. Okay, we've searched pretty much all the corners and nooks and crannies of this area. Alright, let's head one floor down. We've got five, so there are only three more. And there I'm assuming there are at least, at least two down here, so... Or maybe there are three, and that last one in the clinic was just to drive us crazy. Items. Metal detector. No response. Okay, that's fine. Item. Uh, let me make sure I'm in the right place still. No, here we go. Part search. Received one part from Antoine in the clinic. And then the third floor workshop. Yep. So over here is another one. Response very nearby. Item. Here we go. So here's one. And what about over here? Response very nearby. Item. Okay, golden. Orbit parts. And if if we're lucky, the third and final one will also be in here. No response. Or the, the eighth and final one will also be here. No response. Okay. This is going to be tricky, isn't it? Hmm. No response. What if the last one is like on him or something? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hey everyone, looks like you're busy. On the job again? Man, it must be tough being a bracer. So if there's nothing in here, we're gonna check near Eric. Response very nearby, nope. Forget that, we were about to get the eighth and last one right now. No response, okay. Let's try it over here. Response very nearby. This thing, maybe. This thing that looks like it's made out of copper. No. Maybe over here? 
response very nearby. I originally tried over here. Response in the vicinity. Okay. Let's move a little bit this way. Here we go. And that should be it. Godlike. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there are eight in total. Wow, I expected that to take much longer and be much more involved. But nope. Just rubbing up against stuff and mashing the buttons we're supposed to mash. All worked out in the end. Uh, nope. We're gonna talk. Hey everyone, did you find any parts? It's going okay, I guess. For now, we'll report what we've got. Reporting about finding eight parts. Wait, did you? D did you really find all eight parts? Oh, did we get them all? I incredible, I've totally given up. A anyways, if you could give me the parts in the detector. Handed over metal detector. Handed over all orbment parts. Phew. Thank you so much! I didn't think all the parts would be found. Neither did I, dude. <laughs> Glad we could find them for you. Will this be enough for the job? Yes, of course. I kind of feel bad making you go this far. Ah, right. That reminds me, I had that. Is this some sort of super special quartz? He better give us a super special quartz, dude. Here, please, take this. It may not be much, but think of it as a symbol of my sincere and super relieved thanks. Received buzzer. Wow, thank you! Are you sure we can take this? Yes, don't worry about it, you really saved my butt. Anyway, thanks again for today. Thanks to you guys, I should be able to catch back up on my work I was doing. That's good, but... Um, you should really fix the hole in your pocket. I... yeah, I probably should. Guess I'd better find a sewing kit. If you need help with that, just contact the guild. We'll arrive anytime, thread a needle in hand. <laughs> thanks for your thoughtfulness. Anyway, thanks again for today. I hope to see you again. You can leave the thread and needle behind, though. Well, yes, we'll see you then. Well then, later. Quest part search completed. Um... I wonder, if you take out a request, is there some sort of contract that says the guild isn't held liable? I'm thinking, like, what if, what if, like, when we were gambling for that lady for her husband, we just lost? Like, we lost all the money. Would she be able to sue us for a job not, well, obviously, the thought never even comes up for her to sue us for her, us, firstly, not being able to do the job she contracted us for, and then losing the money that she provided to us to do the job. I mean, I guess if she gave us the money to do so, but we failed, huh? Well, I guess we don't get the reward if we don't do the job, maybe. That's probably the entirety of the, uh, the way the system works, but I don't know. Liability for bracers, I'm not sure how that works. Here we go. Two plus one. Yep. All right. Um... Next, the Peeping Tom. Okay. So let's go to the uh, Elmo Inn, and I'm gonna rush up there for us, but unless we encounter one of the Plains monsters on the way, is there? There are. Okay. Trap Plains. High Recovery, the Yaka. Okay. We'll probably, ooh! Yeah, I'll see you guys at Elmo. All right, so we've arrived in Elmo Village. Ooh, these guys, are they fighting? Eat this! Bullet Barrage! Bang, 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 bang! Next time- Next, it's time for my body split craft! Ha ha ha! Can you see through the illusion? So they're just playing around. Here we go! Sword Technique! Eight Leaf Blitz! Wait. That's, um... Oh, okay. Are they- Were Annalise and, um... Did they see Annalise and Agate fighting? Whoa! Not yet! That kid! Oh, what a grand feat of leaping! <laughs> How amusing! They must have seen Agate and Annalise fight, dude. Not each other, but like, in general. Oh, hello! Now what's brought you all together today? We're here to stay the night, of course! Yeah, I wish. Keep dreaming, Estelle. 
Unfortunately, we're here for work today, too. We saw the board. It seems like you've got some kind of problem. The board? Oh, that thing I contacted the guild about, eh? That's the one! Something about a peeping Tom creeping about? Yes, that's right. If you've got a minute, I'd like you to investigate immediately. Do you have time right now? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Would you mind if we got right to the explanation? Apparently, someone's been peeping on my guests! It's a recent thing, but I've heard tell from a number of my female guests in particular. I won't stand for it, so I contacted the guild. Ugh, peeping Toms. Totally gross! When I find him, I'm gonna rearrange his face with my staff! Plot twist, it's a woman. Have you been able to get any specific details from your guests? <laughs> Plot twist, it's Annalise looking for her next rival. It'd be helpful if they've seen the criminal. No, no, nothing that clear. They've been reporting things like the feeling that someone's watching them or strange sounds. Might it only be a misunderstanding of some sort? Mm, I thought so too at first. But like I said before, I keep getting these same reports again and again. At this point, I can't just toss it aside saying it's a coincidence. That's certainly true, but it's kind of a problem. It's not even clear that this is a case, really. There's no way we can investigate properly with any specifics. Well, if it isn't clear, then we just have to put it to the test. It'd be hard to make an arrest unless we catch the perpetrator red-handed, so why not? Test? But what to the test exactly? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? We'll take a bath ourselves. You want us to be bait to lure out the criminal? Well, it's better than just waiting for the peeping Tom to appear. You alone would be, you know. But me, with me and Tita around, no man could possibly resist taking a bath, uh, taking a peek. <laughs> wow, dude, Estelle just can't catch a break. Yeah, well, excuse me for not being sexy enough. Do not be disheartened, fair Estelle. What you lack in seductiveness, you more than make up for in raw nubility. <laughs> Aw, give me a break. Even Tina's laughing at me. N no, I wasn't laughing at you. I was just kind of happy. It's been a while since the two of us took a bath together. Sounds sweet enough, sure. But, um, you do know this is a totally exploitative bait plan, right? I think Tita's on the right track. Forgetting we're working a case would make it a bit more natural, no? Let's just think of it as a short vacation and let our hair down. Alright, you wouldn't mind le uh, lending us your bath, would you, ma'am? Yeah, use it as you like. I'll reserve it entirely for you for a bit, so you four go warm yourselves up. Thanks, Mrs. Mal. Phew, I guess we're really doing this. Is everyone ready? Wait, who the heck put you in charge? In charge? You flatter me, but I'm merely eager to be back in the spring's fevered embrace. My last visit is still quite fresh in my mind, so it's only natural that I, expert as I am, should guide you. That's what your mouth says, but... You totally intended to casually follow us into the changing room, huh? <laughs> Whatever could you mean? <laughs> if you think you can keep pulling the same old tricks, you've got another thing coming, mister. Girls, you go on ahead. I have a little escort job to the men's changing rooms to take care of first. Thank you. Sorry, Olivier, but we'll be going ahead. See you at the outdoor bath. <laughs> well, fine. I'll return this favor at the bath when. If you do return the favor, my staff is going somewhere sensitive. And I will hand you over to the guild as the peeping Tom. Yes, ma'am. Understood. So I'm assuming bringing, like, having Olivier with us would probably have resulted, um, resulted in that scene with Tita. Well, no. I could say something, but having Chloe probably would have resulted in this going way differently. Ah, <sighs> it's so relaxing. Yup, outdoor baths are the best. It truly is paradise. If I just had a drink, it'd be perfect. Hey, Shara, it doesn't matter much, but aren't you gonna let your hair down? Mmm, I think not. This way I can don my clothes and jump out quickly, no? Wow, somebody didn't want to draw up a new portrait for her. 
If I let it down, it'll take time to tie it back up. Oh, good point. Who knows when the criminal might show up after all. Still, it's a pity. I'm sure Shara washing her hair would be most charming. You'll have to get that another time. Huh, <laughs> I see. Well then, perhaps for a next chance I shall invite you to a top-class spa in my homeland. Yeah, do do so. Uh... What is it, Estelle? Huh? Uh, nothing. She sensed something, I'm sure. It's just... a little... suspicious, you know? Huh? Suspicious? Do you mean me and Olivier? Y yeah really? <laughs> you idiot, there's nothing. You say that, but I don't know, dude, I like the idea of it. He's a drinking partner, that's all. I I'm afraid I shall have to humbly refrain from accepting that title. Really? Sometimes the way you two talk feels like you're sharing a secret. It really feels like you understand each other, so yeah, I'm curious. Oh, Tina! <laughs> Tina! <laughs> she's not saying anything, but she's just as curious. So I'm glad I brought. She um, I'm glad I brought Olivier then. Ah, I see. She. <laughs> uh, Tina's gonna think she's gonna hear about the secret things adults do. So that's why this came up all of a sudden. Unfortunately, that's a work thing. There are circumstances. Circumstances? Oh. Sherazard is probably aware of Olivier's real identity, then. Yes, but I'll explain it another time. This isn't the time to get sidetracked on other things. We're here to investigate, so we need to focus on the task at hand and be a bit more aware of our surroundings. But if Sherazard is aware of who Olivier really is, and Olivier still invited her back to his homeland, huh. More evidence for me, who knows. Ah, you're dodging the subject. <laughs> However, it seems coincidence is a fearsome thing. We really must be on our guard. Right now, in fact. Whoa! Ah. Is the peeping Tom here? You see that breast of the north, right, Estelle? Check it, but move very carefully so you're not noticed. G got it! The breast to the north. Oh! It's a sheep! It, it does look like something's there. Perhaps it's our peeping Tom. Now then, what shall we do? Even if we wanted to try and apprehend him, we cannot lay a finger on him from here. Yeah, someone needs to get out first and go around. Estelle and I will go around behind him. Olivier, Tita, draw the enemy's attention. Uh, okay. Huh, understood. Well then, let's... Wait, what? What is it? Look, they're gonna run! Hey! Wait! Whoa! Oh! Oh! What the heck? Why did they flee like that? Estelle, after them! G got it! Okay, hopefully we took the time to change into our clothes, yep, before pursuing. Hiya! Okay. Finally shown yourselves, huh? We fought the pink sheep before, but the black sheep are new. Let's get to the punishing, shall we? So, whoa! What the heck? Why are they all starting off arched up like that? Oh crap, Tita. Can't take a hit to save her life. Um, Let's tear her really quickly. No, we need to run over and give her an item before she just dies outright. Um, let's do a um uh, an herb sandwich. We're good to go. Okay. And now, hopefully, the rest of them. Nope, that's Tita's death, isn't it? Yep. God dang it. Okay, so she needs to be revived. Luckily, Olivier has a particular skill that's going to be extremely useful in this situation. We need more Azalea Kisses. Like, seriously need more. Um, craft? No, not craft. Art. And then he's going to Titanic Roar. 
Sheep Ashura Fuse. Whoa! Wow. I was not expecting them to do that. Okay, who cares if it's really freaking wild? Big Sheep. The ultimate fusion sheep elevated beyond the color of wool. Sheep level 600%. <laughs> Somebody had way too much fun with that dude. I respect it though. I respect it. 848. I didn't check to see what it was weak to though. Okay. Art. Um. Aerial. It's not weak to anything in particular, so let's just blast it with our strongest stuff. Let's do it here, because it's going to move up. Hopefully... Sheep Whirlwind Spiral Kick. Jeez, dude! This thing's got all the sheep martial arts! Um... What can... What's our crafts? Chain 1, Smoke Cannon, Vital Cannon, Cannon Impulse. Um... I feel like she ended the last game with those. So Tina's not gonna last long using dark uh dark matter, so her EP is not gonna last long. Someone's about to get critted and it's gonna be very, very unpleasant. Hmm. Sheep Ashura Fuse. <laughs> wow. Sheep Whirlwind Spiral Kick on... Okay, Sherazard. Yeah, she can eat that hit really easily. Art. Uh, this time we're gonna have him Petrify Breath. It's cheaper and it'll do the job. Though I should probably lock Crest. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not really sure... How to get the most out of Tita. 904, yep. Perfectly fine damage. Okay, let's have her... Hmm. Taunt. Yeah. It resists that... Super Sheep Punch. Crap, dude. Yeah, he's down for the count. Does she have Thalys? Nope. Item. Um, we've got one more Azalea Kiss, so... Dang, dude. It's gonna have to be Estelle, then. Let's have her... Ariel. It's gonna have to come over here and attack somebody. Super Sheep Punch on Estelle. Jeez, dude. Though Estelle got plenty of, um... CP from that, though. Uh, Tina probably can't move very far. Craft, she still can't do anything, really. Um... Tear. Oh, she's got nothing. Okay, and that thing is about to, uh... AT advance. There we go. Okay, let's have her tear herself. Just so that thing doesn't get a, a heal off. Um. Forte. No, Estelle needs to revive him. Jeez, the fusion though. Where is... Okay, Azalea Kiss. She can reach him, thankfully. Okay, now we need to keep ourselves, or at least Olivier, alive. Because if Olivier goes down again... No, we still have Reviving Bombs, so we're fine there. Sheep Whirlwind Spiral Kick on Estelle. Shouldn't kill her. But we definitely don't want her to be targeted again. Because then we'll lose out on this sweet, sweet, uh... S-Craft. Yep. Super Sheep Punch. There she goes. Alright, and now we need Olivier to Thalus her, definitely. Here we go. For her. Um, Sherazard is going to... Ariel again. Crap. 
This critical though. Someone's about to die. Super bad touch. Oh, that's not good. Okay, um... Dang, dude, we're about to lose to this thing. 481. Um, craft. She cannot... do much. Okay, let's let's be brave and move Tita into attacking range. Or dying range, rather. Miss! And then a super sheep punch. Sherazard's gonna be able to heal herself, though. Or Sherazard's not going to be able to heal herself. Item. Okay. Uh reviving bomb on Estelle. God dang it, my Tita is such dead weight! Okay. Super bad touch. On Estelle again. Um. Let's have Estelle. fully heal herself. Okay. And. Cheap Whirlwind Spiral Kick. This is not going to end well. God dang it. Okay. Oh, and we're confused. Oh, crap. Okay, so this is the end of this. Got everybody. Zero damage? Don't tell me. Do these things get free turns? We can't hurt them before they become their whatever. Wow. Oh, but everybody's got a little... Oh, she's... Oh, man. Did it celebrate when it killed Olivier? All right. So, we're about to use our uh, ultimate technique. But our ultimate technique is going to have to uh, have to wait. I'm going to have to build up to that. All right, guys. You, you already know what's coming next. So, uh, one second. Got to wrap me through. Hold on. Think again. Don't you know what you're stuck in? But you sure we got the clue? How bad this we go? Don't you know? No more art. And as you look to the horizon.